Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with The Movement System. In this video, we're gonna cover the five minute tendon strengthening protocol. As a doctor of physical therapy and a strength and conditioning coach, I've worked with a lot of different athletes that need to strengthen different tendons in their body and they wanna do so in a very efficient way. And there are a lot of things that you could do. You could do iontophoresis and ultrasound and ice massage, but the reality is that you can get 90% or more of the results just from doing one exercise, which is directly loading that tendon with the right amount of load, the right amount of time, and the right exercise. So we're gonna cut through all of these passive modalities that really don't make any meaningful changes to your tendon and show you exactly how to load your tendon in the right way. If you can load the tissue with the issue with the right amount of time, the right position, and the right intensity, then you're gonna be able to expedite your results, reduce your tendon pain, and build really strong tendons quickly. We're gonna show you exactly how to do this for the Achilles tendon, the hamstring tendons, the patellar tendon, the biceps tendon, the rotator cuff tendon, and we're gonna give you examples of each of those. Before we do that, let's do a really quick 60 second crash course on the science of tendon training. All right, let's start off by showing you the difference between dynamic fast movements like a plyometric exercise like jumping and an isometric slash really slow controlled movement. With a plyometric movement, our tendon, our muscle move as one musculotendinous unit and they lengthen and they contract together. Doing plyometrics and really fast movements is a good way to build stiffness in that tendon and cross links that can help you transmit forces faster and sprint faster. But they don't really build collagen properties and solve tendon pain. The second type of exercise is an isometric exercise or something that's very slow and controlled. With this type of exercise, where we're just contracting our muscle and holding a position or moving really slowly, what we get is actually shortening of the muscle and lengthening of the tendon. With that slow tendon lengthening with a strong muscle contraction, we get viscoelastic creep and that stimulates collagen synthesis and tendon growth. This is the key for building strong tendons. The things that we need to get right here, we need to have enough load, typically greater than eight out of 10 intensity or 80% of our one rep max. We need to have that load directed specifically to the tendon that we're training. So we can't just do a back squat where we're training a bunch of different muscles. We need to specifically target the tendon that we're working. And then number three, we need to do this contraction for long enough that we actually get that creep and that relaxation. For a 30 second contraction, we get about 45% reduction in tension and viscoelastic creep, which is great for stimulating collagen synthesis and growth. All right, so now let's show you the five minute protocol for each different muscle group. For the Achilles tendon, we're going to do a very heavy calf raise isometric. We're gonna hold a 90 degree position. We're gonna put the toes on the step and hold a 90 degree position with one leg and hold a weight. The goal here is to stimulate a really strong calf muscle contraction. While we're holding that position with a really strong muscle contraction, that tendon is slowly lengthening and stimulating that collagen synthesis. The way we're gonna do this is 30 seconds on, 90 seconds rest, three times. You'll be done with that in five minutes and get a really good strong stimulus to that calf. I'll put all the research below that shows you guys this, but this is the most important thing for really building up that Achilles tendon. Moving on to the hamstring, we have a long lever bridge. We're gonna use this same protocol, 30 seconds on, 90 seconds rest, three times. With this long lever bridge, we need to find a starting point that is tolerable to you that's not causing more than four out of 10 pain. The goal would be to work all the way up to a 30 degree knee bend and a single leg hold. This is really challenging though, so you'll probably need to start it closer to a 90 degree knee bend and then gradually work out over the course of a couple weeks. As you do that, you're gonna be doing these 30 second contractions, building a really strong hamstring tendon, and you're gonna feel that hamstring getting stronger and stronger each week. Moving on to the patellar tendon, which I know this is a really common one, over 50% of basketball players end up having patellar tendon pain that limits their playing time, so this is an important one to know. With this one, we're sticking with the same 30 seconds on, 90 seconds rest. The exercise that I recommend is a leg extension isometric. If you're just doing this at home, you can set up by kicking into a wall, sitting on a box, or if you have a band, you can set up with a band and kicking into that band. We don't wanna be at 90 degrees of knee flexion and we don't wanna be all the way out straight. We wanna be somewhere about halfway in between. Make sure that you're kicking hard enough that this is an eight out of 10 or stronger muscle contraction so that we're getting enough load through that tendon, we're getting that viscoelastic creep property and we're getting that collagen synthesis stimulated. Moving on to the upper body, we have the bicep tendon, which is a commonly injured tendon. For this one, we're gonna do a front raise, but we're gonna hold at 30 degrees of abduction and 30 degrees of flexion and we're gonna raise into the wall. Again, 30 seconds on, 90 seconds rest, three times, feeling that really strong muscle contraction. 
And then lastly, we have the rotator cuff. That one's gonna be trained with an isometric at 90 degree elbow bend. We're gonna push into that wall. Again, eight out of 10 intensity is our goal here, where we can really get a strong muscle contraction and stimulate that tendon growth. Now, importantly, you can apply this to any different area of the body. So if we didn't cover what you were looking for, just use the same principle, 30 second really strong contraction, 90 seconds rest, three times, do that each day, focus on keeping pain four out of 10 or below and getting a stronger muscle contraction each time that you do it. Over time, you do wanna work into more fast dynamic activities, but make sure that when you're adding these, they don't cause pain 24 hours later. So be cautious with when you're adding it, but I think jump rope is a good starting point, working into forward running at 50%, 60%, 70%, and eventually building up to sprinting, especially if you're an athlete and you wanna get back to that. If you guys do want to go even more detailed into building tendon strength, I did a podcast breaking down the detailed science of tendon strengthening for any coaches or clinicians who actually want to learn this stuff. I'll link that as well as some of our strength training programs in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.